Imposter syndrome has been the majority of my career. Um, and I'm just now getting to a point where I'm realizing that um, we're not all imposters, we're all just talented in different ways in different parts of this field. My current team, I work on the finance data science team at Uber, and we work on a financial optimization product where we're determining how we should spend money efficiently. And I had never studied anything in this field, and so I joined this team and I honestly wondered if they were speaking a different language at times. I was so in over my head. Um, but today I'm leading that team. So it's a, it's a world where you just need to accept that there's always growth. For me, I think I've just learned that I need to convince myself first. <laughs> and so whether that's through like, you know, really, really preparing for a presentation and like knowing that you're gonna kill it or like doing a little extra, you know, outside just so that you can go in once and do it really well and uh, you know, not that you need to prove to anyone else, but just prove to yourself that uh, you're super capable and you can be, um, you know, really impactful in what you want to do and you don't have to check every single box. I think especially in data science that has such a broad scope, like no one's going to be an expert in everything, so there, there's always going to be things you don't really understand or that you can do better. Most data scientists have graduate degrees of some sort, um, so to me, I kind of wonder <laughs> How do they let me do this every day? Um, but, you know, I guess you, have, you sort of prove yourself. As long as, you know, you, the, your problem solving framework is the right framework, you will eventually reach the right conclusion. Uh, yeah, so in math and logic, I believe. <laughs>